second the URI boy from another planet please like share and subscribe and ring the little bell ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop and it is a uh, uh, gay pride month well it's not gay pride month it's it's lots it's lgbtq uh, uh, plus, I, I honestly, I don't know all the letters anymore. Okay, it, it seems to change very often, uh, uh, and they get new ones added. I, I, I got up to T really, and Q. Q's the last one I really got to, and I think there's more after that. So I just say plus. If I miss it, yeah, I do apologize. Okay, I do apologize, but I find the whole thing a bit strange. I find this whole uh, Gay Pride Month uh, 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 or LGBTQ Pride Month odd, right? Odd because I grew up in the eighties. And in the 80s, especially the late 80s and 90s, I would say the uh, the violent prejudice and the prejudice against gay people, you know, the the, the queer bashing, they used to call it, uh, it's something that just kind of has died away to, to nothing, right? My, you know, when I, uh, when I was like 15, 16, I knew older people did do that and they felt that way, but we grew up not doing that because it, it's wrong, you know, and, and I want to be clear, I'm a Bible-thumping religious fanatic, right? I very much believe, I super believe in, like, yeah, the Old Testament, and the Old Testament is not LGBTQ plus friendly. It just isn't, you know, I, I, it's not, I didn't write it. I don't really care who anybody wants to sleep with, you know, whatever, go, go and enjoy yourself. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm just of the attitude that... That yeah, you know, no sexuality is is really at, the, at this point in Western civilization needs uh, pride behind it. They need to not yeah you know, have have shame behind it. I'm 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 kind of on board with that. I think people should be able to live it. Yeah, in the society that we live today, people should be able to live and and live well and uh, and do whatever you know. Uh, uh, life look was it life uh, love and the pursuit of happiness. What what whatever whatever gets you there. Uh, fine, fine. Just don't don't infringe upon anybody else, and we're all cool. But that's not the world we live in. That's not the world we live in. Where where uh, um, being, uh, I would say not being but being non uh, non cis. That's the word they use. You're being non comfortable in your own skin. Cis being non cis gendered. Uh, uh, being a straight yeah, being a straight person is a bad thing, right? And I just think that's weird. I think it's weird. So we do see this uh, very strangely promoted across all strata of media, which we're going to be looking at in this video. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at it going, oh, what, who, what, 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 why? I and maybe, maybe, listen, I don't know, I don't know. We may end up taking the piss a little bit. That might happen. That does happen every now and again on my channel. Before we get into it, can you hit the like button? That'll be fandammy double does And I want to be clear. That includes if you don't like it, right? If you don't like it, still hit the like button anyway. Uh, can you hit the share button? Can you hit that subscribe button? I was over, uh, was it 3,050 subscribers? Then then YouTube noticed. YouTube noticed and said, oh, we've got to take a few off. So uh, if you subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. If you're not subscribed, if you can consider hitting the subscribe button, that'd be great. And comment, let me know what you think. You want to be super, super nice. Go check out my Indiegogo. I've, I, I'm just about to write up five pages to put in one of these comics, which I should have done like two months ago, and I totally forgot. Uh, uh, well, you know, one of these comics, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and whiz through this pretty quickly. we got biblical Bible stories, Ace of Christ, Rations, Rose, uh, uh, Rogues. Uh, uh, this is a very, very biblically act. I told you I'm, I'm a Bible-thumping fanatic. Uh, I wrote and drew this. This is uh, very, very biblically uh, yeah, accurate, but it's not, I don't think it's preacher. I'm not trying to tell anybody how to think or what to think. This is just a really interesting story tying together lots of things you may have heard of from the Old Testament, uh, Tower of Babel, uh, Noah, the Flood, uh, uh, there's uh, Book of Jonah, all kind of like matches together into one, I think, very authentic narrative, uh, which, you know, for me, it's a, it's a compelling story. Uh, uh, I hope it is for you. And we also got this book, The Imperium, a love letter to Teddy Fancy of the 1960s. Uh, uh, basically imagine James Bond, Emma Pill, uh, Doctor Who, uh, Monkey in a Space Suit, and the Black Slab from 2001 in one fantastic supergroup together. Reality bending, mind bending. Uh, uh, so this is 105 pages long. This is the one I've got to run up the extra five pages of script. The other book is 220 pages long. You get a bunch of extras. You get this awesome pinup called Noble Savages, which we're going to supersize to uh, 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 A2 posts. That's 18 by 22 i believe uh, uh so we have that we have uh for the male, male gay series a bunch of postcards based on things that turn me on you know uh uh, uh and unfortunately a lot of things turn me on and even more fortunately they're all kind of geeky you know why 
because I'm kind of geeky. Let's <laughs> get yeah. I'm not faking. This is on the set. This is my real life. The forces female. Uh, uh, that's a fantastic one. And again, when we hit eight grand, uh, uh, we're only a few hundred, a uh, few hundred dollars out. Uh, uh, we have a behemoth in time and space. You're going to get this poster uh, again. A two posters. More posters. There's uh, the eyes have it. There is great balls of fire, and there is forever young, forever young. Uh, I'm the fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane growing old together in the TARDIS. Oh, how nice. How nice. So let's start off. Let's start off this little investigation, this little voyage into insanity with uh, uh, Blue's Clues. <laughs> okay, Blue's Clues. Again, this is just so bizarre to me. And again, live and let live, baby. If you're gay, find somebody else gay and, and, and you know, get together. Uh, whatever you want. Whatever you want. I, I just don't understand why... Uh, it seems to me we're indoctrinating children that it's better not to be cis, right? It's better not to be the the sexuality of ninety nine point. Is it? I think. I think. I think it's pretty high, like ninety eight percent of humanity. You know, like don't be like that. That be. And I just think you know it's going to cause a lot more misery than it's going to cure. I mean, I don't think it's going to cure any misery because I don't know anybody who's really like super on board for, uh, 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 you know, an anti-gay prejudice. And again, I want to be clear, I'm a Bible-thumping religious nut. And even I'm like, that. yeah, no, that's not... Listen, I, 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 I you know, I think the uh, the biblical attitude to sexuality is something that one takes on personally. I think there's the... It has to be balanced with many other, uh, uh, you know, biblical attitudes, which is, don't be a dick! <laughs> you know, don't, like, God doesn't need your help to, uh, 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 you know, to exact justice or vengeance on anybody who doesn't follow his Bible... God's just fine. He doesn't need anybody's help, right? Right? He's, he's, he's doing okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I'm not on board for that at all. But equally, equally, I, ju I think, you know, uh, we have, like, a generation of people who are very confused uh, about their sexuality. They, they Everybody feels they're fluid. They, they, the predominant opinion is they're fluid. And I think it's going to lead people to... Uh, 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 sexual encounters that they are, that are going to damage them. They're going to freak them out. They're going to hurt them. They'll be like, uh, I don't believe I did that. I, I genuinely believe that, you know, that, that, uh, that's where we're going. And again, and again, sleep with who you want, baby. Sleep with who you want. So yeah, let's start off with this, uh, this little voyage into insanity over here. A bit of Blue's Clues action. Uh, uh, so Blue's Clues uh, uh, teaches pride praise. Oh, my daughter used to love Blue's because I have to show her this. She's going to freak out. She used to, like, she used to love Blue's Clues when she was little. Hey, Blue, look at all these families. So, okay, it looks to me like the person uh, 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 um, narrating this uh, is a drag queen, right? And again, if you want to be a drag queen, that's fine. That's fine. I think the idea of having drag queen children's hour, very, very, very bad. Very bad indeed. Uh, um, so, yeah, the, the, the reality is uh, um, of, uh, of all the uh, uh, child uh, uh, molestation cases, uh, over forty percent of them come from uh, uh, you know this segment of the world. Uh, and again, I, I'm not saying that uh, you know the, you need to run screaming if you see a gay person. But I uh, I think more from this like you know this kind of realm of uh, of, of of like where it's uh, 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 undesirable not to be it's undesirable to be straight. And I think the people who are pushing that agenda. About forty percent of those are the are make up all the child molesters out of like, so they make up I think uh, what about two percent of the population. Forty. That's not a good demographic, right? It's not a good demographic, and, and I think this is a bad idea. And again, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I'm I'm happy if if a kid uh, has two fathers or two mothers, whatever, whatever. I, I don't think that kid should be like, oh, but I don't think the kid does feel that way. I don't think anybody feels that way in 2021. I just, you know, I it just, I just don't think this is the world we live in. See, they seem to be reacting to this like totalitarian, uh, uh, somewhat fascist uh, 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 world that they think they live in. But weirdly enough, to avoid it being totalitarian fascist, they become totalitarian fascist. So, you know, there's that. So, I guess let's get, have a quick look at more of this. Hi, families. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Families marching one by one. Hurrah. 
okay, honestly, honestly, uh, 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 again, again, don't feel bad if you have you know gay parents. <laughs> yeah, don't feel bad. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, but 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 equally understand that you're a minority, which means there are less of you than most people, right? There are less of you, uh, 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 which is fine. It's fine. You don't have to be the majority. Look, I'm a I'm a fat Bible thumping Jew. I I I'm in a small jet demographics for other Jews, right? That's a, that's how small a Venn diagram is. I feel fine. I feel fine. I feel fine. Uh, you know, actually, I think I think probably where a lot of this comes from is um, uh, a fundamental difference in the way uh, the world is perceived by men and women generally. Because men and women, uh, uh, while while are completely equal in my mind, are also uh, different. They're not not interchangeable. So I, I bring this study up all the time. The the, the way that toy companies work uh, when you make a a toy for a little boy. It's got to have like uh, a character's got to have very very defined features, a very you know outstanding uh, uh, characteristics, right? Because boys want to take on that character. Boys want to be Han Solo, right? They want to and they want to play act that character. Well, girls is completely opposite. They want to uh, 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 imprint themselves upon the character. They, they want Princess Buttercup to be them, right? So so for them, for girl characters, they've got to be kind of blank slate so you, you can uh, uh, imprint yourself on them. So the idea of being visible is, I think, a very feminine thing. Like, if it's not, if you're not visible uh, uh, and you're a guy, you're not really that bothered. You're not bothered at all. But if you, uh, 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 you know, if you're not that visible and you go, I think you feel like you're being maligned, right? I, I, I think, I, and honestly, I, I think most, most of these things, most of these schisms in society come from people, generally speaking, having a, a genuine reaction to something, you know, something real. But that, yeah, that's what I think. So, yeah, anyway, so we have Blue's Clues. Uh, uh, really, really, uh, I think uh, um, pushing a message which is, which is, if you're if you're a tiny minority, you should be the majority. Uh, which is, I, I don't think it's helpful. I don't think it's helpful. But anyway, Blues Clues, Blues Clues, uh, 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 they're doing good, uh, but not quite as good as Star Trek. Star Trek doing their best to be the gayest ever. Let's fast um, forward to the next clip. Three and a half minutes of this, really. And like, what the hell is going on back there? It's like, are they are, are they goats? Are they dressed as like? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if these people are dressed as animals or they're getting into bestiality or I don't know what's going on. I know there's a weird drag queen in front of. Uh, it seems to be like goats or something, but they may be people dressed up as goats. They may be furs. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I don't think this is good or healthy for children, right? I, just, and again, I might be wrong. That's just my opinion. I just don't think this is good or healthy for society. But then again, then, then, then let's go to Star Trek. Happy Pride Month from all of us at Star Trek Discovery. You see, incredible, incredible. As soon as Star Trek Discovery comes on, uh, they got to make, make their screen bigger. Because we're the biggest ever! Well, okay, so... Star Trek Discovery, oh God, it's so awful. It's such a bad show. So unbelievably concerned with uh, with identity, right? It's so unbelievable that they don't have watchable episodes. They, they, their episodes make no sense. Like there's no connective tissue between the, the events in the episode because it's just moving from gay pride to gay pride moment, right? Or, or female pride or black pride or anything other than white like like we should all be proud and none of us needs to bang on about being proud uh, and this character here played by um i can't remember what his name is little ricky uh oh god what was his name but again the worst character in the world the, the most transparent uh, and nauseating propaganda saying gay people can be good too okay nobody doesn't think that right nobody doesn't think that um but yeah let's let, let let's look at how they're going to talk about gay pride and discovery and, and yeah listen it's not like star trek has ever been um particularly right wing right it's not like star trek has ever been uh, uh, particularly um uh, uh yeah like uh, uh, like yeah reactionary or total it's always been incredibly inclusive and, and again had the basic fundamental message that we are all born equal right which i think is a very american idea i, I you know i i think the uh, uh, uh having a definition of, uh, be, between the genders was also somewhat an american idea as being lost but let's have a look see what they have to say why they're so happy 
Whether you're celebrating on Earth, Vulcan. Oh God, oh God, I'm not celebrating anywhere. And I have to tell you, uh, uh, what's her name again? Uh, I can't remember. Her, can't uh, can't remember her, uh, the name of this actress. Sort of comedian. But I've warmed up to her a lot because she was the best thing in the Zack Snyder movie. And I think she's probably one of the best things in Star Trek Discovery. She seems, she seems what I would like to say, one of the normal gay people, because she's maybe a bit older, but she seems like a normal gay person who's like, yeah, I'm gay, what's the big deal? <laughs> All right? Like, it's, it's just, let's see sort of what it is. Uh, uh, she's in a hotel room somewhere. I wonder, I, I wonder where she is. Kaminar. Trill. Oh my god! Firstly, let's just go back. Yeah, you mentioned camera. She was always like, "Oh god, do I have to do this?" And this guy, oh god, the worst character ever, ever, ever to be in Star Trek. This is the uh, invisible. Okay, again, if you haven't seen Star Trek Discovery, firstly, get on your knees and thank God. Even if you're an atheist, get on your knees and thank God because it's awful. So this character, oh, okay, is a. Uh, um, this, the 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 basic a sixteen year old boyfriend or girlfriend uh, I don't know but he's non binary so either I don't know I don't know uh, uh, and um, uh, 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 yeah it, it, and they and they act like they've been married for like fifty years uh, this, this, and with the, it's just it's ridiculous uh, equally ridiculous look again. Dude, it's good to be different, right? It's good to be your own person, have the confidence in yourself to be who you are. But understand, that's not normal, okay? There's nothing about this that's normal. Stop telling anybody that's normal, because this isn't it. And again, nobody can't beat this guy up. He's okay that he's not normal, but this isn't normal. Look at him. It's well, her or what? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know, because that's you know, pronouns. You get the pronouns, it's just too confusing or anywhere else in our big, beautiful galaxy. I hope it is a very special one. Oh, who's that? Is that Detma? Okay, wow, no wonder they hired her. Uh, uh, yeah, she's, she's got another one of the many useless characters on Star Trek uh, who hasn't come out as gay yet, but I'm sure will, right? I'm sure will. Discovery is uh, following in a long tradition of... Okay, this is Michelle Paradise. Who was the showrunner for season? Was it season three, season four? I can't remember because it's so bad. I think season three, right? So she was brought in uh, to be the showrunner because uh, the first season was this guy called uh, was it Alex Kurtzman? But he had uh, the the script notes from uh, this other guy who's incredibly talented, this incredibly talented uh, uh, writer called Brian Fuller. Uh, uh, so that first season was pretty good, mostly because it it, it 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 hung on those on those notes. Uh, season two, uh, was it Alex Kurtzman uh, ran it, and and it was it was just so bad. It was so insanely bad. And uh, 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 season three, Michelle Paradise took over uh, again. Just it's 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 an agenda driven uh, uh, mass of drivel uh, is how I would explain it, right? And again, I want to be I really want to be clear. If you're gay, whatever, mate. I, I, I'm fine. I don't care who you sleep with. It's cool, right? Be your own person. Star Trek encouraging and embracing and promoting diversity of all kinds. It's just... Okay, the way they encourage and embrace diversity of all kinds was by having people be diverse and not making it the central focus. Like, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Uhura. Uhura was a, a groundbreaking character. You, you'd never seen a, a black woman uh, in, you know, 1966 on, on, in a TV production uh, being an officer, being somebody of, uh, you know, on the bridge crew, being somebody of import. She was an incredibly... But the, the reason that made it so good is because nobody acknowledged her skin color. Nobody acknowledged her gender. She was just a professional doing a job. They make the focus of these characters. They exist to be gay. And the weird thing is this, the weird thing is this, they they, they make them live in a weird gay ghetto where they don't let them interact with the uh, the, the black characters or the, uh, or the Hispanic characters. It's, so, it's just weirdly, weirdly deeply racist. It's so important that everyone's stories get told. Oh, really? Let me guess. Let me guess. I, I, are you going to tell uh, uh, the story of like you know uh, somebody who supports Donald Trump, for example, uh, uh, in in a positive light? Is that going to happen, right? How about the story of somebody who says this guy might be ill, right? This guy might need to get to a get, get to a doctor, which is what it looks like. And uh, again, again, you're fine. Live the way you want to live, but don't tell other people. 
that this is this is the way to go. It's not. It's weird. Okay. It's just weird, and it's fine. It's fine to be weird, but let's acknowledge it's weird. Stop pretending this isn't weird because this is weird. To see someone that looks like me might mean the whole world. Okay, okay. You're not gonna see anybody who looks like you, okay? There, there's a, what are you, like one tenth of one percent of the population? You know, yeah, there's a reason you don't see many Native America and Native Americans getting together. There aren't that many, mate. There aren't that many. And I understand you wanna see more people like you. That's lovely, that's lovely. Uh, uh, that's not the number one thought on most people's uh, most people's minds, however, right? That's not like, oh, we got we have to see more more people who are are, are non-binary, uh, not flu, uh, whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, but I don't. I, I, I you know, I, I know it's important to you. But is it good for you and society? I, I, and honestly, I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I don't know. And it should be okay to say I don't know. World to a young trans teenager out there to be able to see uh, a gay couple who love one another and uh, they're just a couple, and it doesn't like them being gay isn't isn't the storyline. But that is the storyline. Right, that is entirely the storyline. Why did okay? You have this gay cat, this gay couple. Uh, uh, the guy uh, who was actually a pretty good actor, good actor. Um, the guy who apparently was somebody molested by Kevin Spacey. That's the ac accusation. As married to uh, Ricky Cruz, is it? I think, uh, and they adopt a non-binary girl who has an invisible. Uh, uh, gender fluid boyfriend. Okay, so come on! You make it all about being gay. More, the, their entire storyline is about being gay, and which, it, you know, you have to have the scene where they brush their teeth together. But it's, 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 uh, and again, again, I'm fine with it being gay characters. I'm not fine with them being used as like purse puppets, as tokens, as props to, so people like this can feel good about themselves because they're morons. And they just are who they are. See queer characters, see trans characters. Okay, we, okay, when don't we see you? Okay, I, 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 I don't know where you're hidden, right? I don't know where you're hidden. But listen, look, the nose ring doesn't help, darling. And uh, the whole, like, uh, listen, I just don't know if uh, uh, all this, like, non-binary uh, propaganda that's being pumped towards children is going to work out for the best. And there's no data to indicate it. And again, I want to be really clear. There, there should be no hate towards anybody, right? No, I, I, I'm, everybody live how you want to live. I think, you know, indoctrinating people uh, against the basic realities of human nature probably is a bad idea, right? I can't think of another time it's worked out well. Can you let, let me know? Not necessarily like seeing them going through struggles or anything, but just seeing them, that these people exist, that they are people, uh, is massively, massively important. Why? Well, okay, who doesn't think you're a person? I believe you're a person. I believe, listen, I, I'm happy to gender you however you want or whatever, you know, I'm happy to do that. I personally think that you're somebody who needs psychiatric help, right? I, I But the, I might be wrong, I don't know. And I'm allowed to think that, right? We're all allowed to think. A lot of people think I need psychiatric help because I believe in God. They're allowed to think that. We can we can exist, we can coexist, more importantly, with our differences. But I don't think, I don't think she, she he, it, them, they can, right? I don't think they can coexist with, with, with our differences. As an LGBTQ member myself, I feel very lucky. You feel very lucky to be an LGBTQ in 2021 when the world is yours and you're a woman. Oh my God. I, I, listen, if you can meet to somebody as well, mwah. Listen, and look, this actress don't have anything, don't having you know, against her. She's basically um, of the caliber that she should be in a Geico commercial, right? Uh, she should be the woman behind the get desk in a Geico commercial saying, 1 800 insurance, like something like that. That's that's who she is as an actress. Uh, they've elevated her to a, uh, to a position where I, I just don't think she can pull it off. That's the bot. I just don't think she's got it in her to pull it off. Need to be a part of telling an amazing story. It's not amazing, it's amazingly awful. Uh, that uplift. I, I, and I have to tell you, it's been amazingly awful in many different ways over the years. If you've never seen Star Trek Discovery, I, I beseech you, go ahead 
and watch uh, watch season two, which is excruciatingly bad. It stays, it starts bad, and it get and like you look at it, and you go, "Wow, that looks yeah, good special effects, well done." Uh, and then it, as it goes on, you go, and you try and like maintain the plot. You'll be like, "What? How? Who? What?" I asked. This is weird. And celebrates the community in such a beautiful, beautiful way. I have. Yeah, exactly. It, it makes you into a purse puppy. It makes you into a token. I have to say, I just really appreciate being. Oh, yeah, the Jet Reno, that's it. Uh, oh, Tig Notaro and a character's Jet, uh, uh, um, uh, Jet Reno. And again, she seems totally normal. I have to tell you, she seems like. And I think that's the way she plays it. Is just like ah, I'm who I am, and it, this is this is the one character who just seems like. And I don't think her sexuality has ever really come up in the show. And if it has, it's a testament to how well she's doing it. Because you don't think it's all about that's that's the entirety of a character. On a show that is representative of how the world is. It's not. It's not. That's the thing. See, this is one of the reasons it's failed, right? And it has failed. It's it's it's. Uh, listen, if it did well, they would release the uh, 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 the viewing figures. It's done terribly. Well. It's done t terribly badly. Uh, um, it, it it does it 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 reflects what your tiny bubble in Hollywood want the world to be like, but it isn't. Again, ninety eight percent of the world is cis, right? Ninety eight percent, and, and uh, yeah, if you if you want to d uh, uh, drill down in, into into more, you know, demographics, uh, uh, the idea of having a eighty percent female uh, uh, ship is also goes deeply against what we know about the realities of human nature that. Uh, uh, women, generally speaking, are less um, career, you know, uh, career orientated and more uh, family orientated. Again, that difference doesn't make anybody superior or inferior. And, and you know, in the eighties and nineties, we could say that, and it wasn't racist or sexist. But now it is because morons have taken over the world. And how it could be. Thanks, Vic. So wait, wait, what is it? Is it how it is or how it could be? I, I don't understand. It's it, it, it's not how it is. It's how you want it to be. The genre has always been where we have gone to imagine the world that we want to create. Yes, I understand that. Yes, we all know this is the world you want to create where everybody's gay, where everybody's gay and no one cis. I understand that's the world you want to create. Uh, uh, I think you will destroy the world if you try and create it. And I think you are destroying the world by trying to create it. Inspire us to move towards um, an ideal. These characters don't have to deal with discrimination. No, they, no, they don't. They, they, well, they, they do discriminate, but they're, they're so busy being venerated. Uh, uh, they can't be discriminated. Who they are. So in a way, it, it reflects the hope that that will be the case. The same. OK, wait, wait, back up, back up. What discrimination? Do you do you face Anthony Rat? I want to know what discrimination do you experience? And honestly, I will stand with you. You shouldn't feel yeah experience discrimination if you're gonna say somebody th somebody believing that uh, uh, generally speaking, men and women are are not interchangeable. That's not discrimination. That's a difference of worldview, right? And it's it, it's okay that people think differently for you and view things differently for you. In fact, if you don't think that. That means you're the bad guy. But I want to know specifically, what discrimination have you possibly experienced? I'm going to guess none. To found family in this show is really... Well yeah, yeah, you need a found family because, you know, human beings as a species need a male and a female to reproduce. And that's how you get a family. If you, if you don't have a male and female to reproduce... And you don't have a male and female, uh, 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 you know, then, uh, uh, you know, you're not you're going to have to forget a found family because you're going to have built because you can't make one because uh, uh, and I'm using this word uh, um, completely accurately because uh, you're abnormal. OK, that's the deal. And again, again, it's OK not to be normal. I think it's better not to be normal, quite frankly. Wonderful. And in. It's never really spoken. It's constantly spoken about in Discovery. Um, but it's just seen. Uh, okay, okay. When you show something, it's just like speaking about it. But they also do constantly speak about it. But they do show it like relentlessly. And I think that is really beautiful. That's good for you. Good for you that you're finding it really beautiful. <laughs> 
Happy Pride Month, everybody! Yeah, again, again. I'm all, I'm all on board with not being ashamed, but like, what, what, why? I like, I understand. I, I'm not particularly proud of being straight. I mean, I enjoy being straight. Don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, but I'm not like, oh, yeah, I'm so proud. Like, ooh, who cares? Who cares? Uh, uh, so finally, tying this all together, we have this thing from Bounding in the Comics. Uh, 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 not to be outdone. Uh, uh, fans, uh, the the fan site, the I think One Ring uh, has described um, Lord of the Rings as gay. Oh, not as, as woke, super woke. Uh, so they did a number number of ridiculous tweets. Listen, we've been dealing with homophobic comments for decades, and it's still wrong. Citation. What homophobic comments? Because I, I, I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet that a lot of things that you're calling homophobic are just coexistence, right? Uh, 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 but like, ex explain it to me, right? Uh, whatever toxic argument, that's it. Whatever toxic arguments are being said about uh, uh, Lord of the Rings fandom and adaptations is the same twash that said Ian McKellen was the worst affront to Tolkien's legacy ever! I, I listen, dude, 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 I've been active in fandom since the 80s, okay? I, I don't remember that being a particularly loud one. I don't remember, this is the first time I heard anybody in the going, oh, Ian McKellen, yo, no, he can't play Gandalf. He's, a, he's an actor. And he, okay, the only people against actors acting uh, 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 as other people, as people who like they're not, are, are people like this, these weirdos, right? They're the only people, they are, what, what, you're not, what, you, you're, uh, uh, you, you're not trans, yeah, you can't play a trans person. I'm like, <laughs> okay, but yeah, you're the only weirdos, okay, up for that. But then, then, then they go on, um, Cogent respectful debate, uh, cogent respectful debate on Tolkien is always welcome, but homophobic, racist, misogynistic twitter is always a case of banning. Again, just a, a, a citation. It, it, are we talking about the same thing? My guess is, no, we're not. No, we're not. Uh, uh, um, uh, it's not. Uh, it's not what Tolkien fandom is. Uh, Was all welcomed. Uh, we use uh, we used to be able to ban uh, we used to be able to ban in the era of message boards and IRC, but the era of social media oh social media because social media really really is on board for uh, 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 anti gay hate speech right yeah hundred percent hundred percent the path of can't keep toxicity out of that community well the reason they can't the reason they can't is because there's no um, there's no discernible rules, right? They won't tell anybody the rules. And the reason they would, won't, don't tell anybody the rules is because they want to apply the rules to some people who disagree with them politically uh, and not apply them to others who do, right? Uh, uh, you can, it's really easy to keep toxicity out. Post the rules. Post the rules of, that are clear. Uh, uh, and, and But what if you do that? The problem is people see them and go, oh, that's crazy. That's completely unreasonable. Uh, we can mute and block, but that's only for accounts... Uh, for this account's feed. Twitter is not a community simply because it lacks anti troll tools. Bad everybody! Bad everybody! Uh, nasty people still. And th th this is why uh, we're having half, uh, half the Western civilization uh, in the midst of being, be being deplatformed for the heresy of saying things uh, uh, that this people doesn't like. I mean, if I can just like, you know, throw up an example of that. Uh, last year, last year we had Dr. Fauci. Uh, say there's no way, no way whatsoever, no way whatsoever the pandemic originated in a lab. Impossible in, in a Wuhan lab, not possible. And if you if you uh, presented that theory, you were deplatformed, you were banned from social media, you weren't allowed to have that thought. Uh, now it's come out that uh, yeah, that exactly came out. And how it came out in the last week or so. What what really happened? <laughs> okay, what really happened was uh, uh, is this. Um, uh, Fauci uh, uh, authorized a research program uh, in China, in Wuhan, uh, with the, some of the funds going to this thing called gain of function research. Uh, she wrote a paper about saying, even if it causes a pandemic, 
it, the, the benefits are incredible. Even if it even gets out of it. Uh, uh, and uh, so he probably funded the pandemic, right? And the American taxpayer funded the pandemic. And that's why he's been... Uh, uh, and again, this is yes, this is not an allegation. This is fact now. Lying out of his ass because we got the emails came out that showed he knew exactly where it came from. And he was sweating bullets. So uh, that's basically why he said... The uh, 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 yeah, it didn't. It, yeah, it didn't. Didn't didn't come come out from a uh, a lab, and also to make to make the former president look bad as well, because he's saying no, it came, I think it came from a lab, and he's like, no, idiot, idiot, can't come from. Well, it turns out it did. But again, th this is the problem with uh, making uh, social media platforms the people who define truth and reality. Uh, and legitimately, millions have died. <laughs> like, like, I know. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, you know, it, it, I understand this person wants to ban anybody who... I, I'm sure they want to ban people who believe in God, right? I'm positive about that. Like Tolkien, <laughs> for example. Uh, I think Tolkien would be banned from the One Ring.net. Nasty people that show, show up uh, in the pies because they're toxic subtweeted us. Uh, so the go keeps going. Uh, if you still think Ian McKellen is the worst and that Catholic Tolkien would have never approved, well, he probably never would have acted, in all fairness. Uh, um... Because he was very, very, he was religious. And uh, uh, listen, I, I would say up until the 1960s, there was uh, a genuine prejudice, a genuine prejudice against gay people by the late 80s and the 90s. Basically, had gone away. Weirdly, I think I you know, I think the uh, I think the AIDS has a lot to do with that, um, which is strange. But uh, yeah, I, I but uh, that's a whole other video. Uh, and I can't say well, never. Been, I beg you to read more Tolkien books and letters. He was woke, stood against hate, embraced all cultures in life and fiction, which is why his books are translated in every language because they 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 mine into like basic truths. Uh, if you think Eamon Kellen gets a pass, but whatever Amazon is doing is a disgrace to Tolkien, please th think uh, more on your personal bias before tweeting. Do you not think you might have a personal bias, Mr. Wondering? Our block button is very active, and if you retweet, enable toxic voices uh, in the name of free speech, you do not love Tolkien. Well, thank you for your uh, idiotic opinion. Pride gives us uh, the greatest balls beyond all expectations. Okay, um, good. So, uh, uh, Pride seems to be a, uh, um, uh, what's it called again? A uh, code word for, I'm insane. I'm completely, completely crazy. Uh, so there we go, there we go. It's Pride Month. It's Pride Month where, where, where it's more, I would say more than being Pride Month, it's more being ashamed for not being gay month. Okay, it's more, you know, cis shame month than gay pride month. And again, it's not gay, LBGTQ+, and whatever else. Who knows or dares to dream. Probably by the time this video goes online, they'll, they'll add another, cut, you know, two or three letters in. If this video doesn't get banned completely, uh, uh, I, guess, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But again, oh, I want to reiterate very clearly, nobody, nobody, nobody should uh, uh, act in a hateful manner to another human being, I just don't think it's a good idea. Uh, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's right, and that's coming from a again a biblical fundamentalist perspective. My my take on it, and my my take on it, and there should be no hate. But you know, coexisting, having difference of opinion, having different worldviews, coexisting together, worldviews that co fundamentally contradict each other. Like I got a ton of very good Christian friends, you know. Did you ever hear about the crusade? Uh, we, we, yeah, we don't really see eye to eye. Like Father Miller, I, I, I love Father Miller, right? We agree on so much more than we disagree, which is the truth of, of all peoples, right? Which is why I think, yeah, people like this work so very hard to divide us, which is a terrible, terrible thing. So, uh, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess in closing, I'll say, uh, uh, happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> My name's Elon Bacon, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.